But before I get started, let me st- let me um just settle something real quick. The rise of Christian nationalism. Um, and just because I love my country and because I love God, and I think it's common sense dictates that you should be prideful of the country that you live in. Although I do admit that um, there are some things in this country's past that haven't been good. But I love my country and I love God. And that doesn't mean I'm a white nationalist. That doesn't mean I'm racist. That doesn't mean that I want to overthrow the government. It means that I'm a Christian and I love my country. I vote for people who will pass righteous legislation as, as, as closely as possible. Most of the time, politicians are not going to be your pastor. Uh, we don't live in uh, an ideal world. So, uh, you know, the person that you vote for, for president, they're not going to be like your pastor. But I think that Christians should influence politics. But we're not, as Christians, supposed to take over politics and in- impose our will on everyone else. I just wanted to settle that. Jesus said point blank as he was talking to Pilate, my kingdom is not of this world. Jesus wasn't trying to start up a kingdom. And so I think, um, yeah, so I just wanted to settle that. <laughs>